Thank you, President, Commissioner Fühle, colleagues. Uh, let me start by offering my condolences on the death of Ahmad Shihadeh, a policy officer at the EU representation in Damascus. Sadly, the days that the deaths of individuals in Syria made European news are rare. And even as people are murdered by the tens of thousands, we're still searching for solutions. While millions are on the run, countless are wounded and missing, what is the value of a human life? Commissioner Georgieva wrote today, we need a political solution. Yet many, including European citizens, are taking up arms and joining extremist networks who take the space that is left by the international community. The people in Syria are increasingly crushed between the murderous regime and violent extremists. <clears throat> today, opposition members even took to the streets to demonstrate against al-Nusra. It was a huge mistake to pretend, or it is a huge mistake, to pretend that all opposition exists of extremists. We, as the European Union, must get aid to the people and take the initiative for a UN mandate, enabling direct cross-border operations from Turkey, Jordan and Lebanon. And let's get deeper involved in what happens in the refugee camps. So women don't continue to be abused and extremists cannot infiltrate. We need a strategy for the day after Assad. In a country full of weapons with deep wounds that sow a desire for revenge in an ethnically mixed society. The EU should also concretely take in more Syrian refugees itself. And we need to put Hezbollah on the EU's terror list. And we must do more to push Russia and others blocking a real political solution to finally get into shape and stop the killing of innocent civilians in Syria. Gracias, señora Schake. Tiene un minuto el colega Rui Tavares. Muito obrigado, senhor presidente. Há algumas coisas que eu não entendo neste debate. Os refugiados estão nos campos na Síria, um milhão deles em situação de emergência. Nós aprovámos neste Parlamento já por duas vezes um pacote de emergência para a reinstalação de 